A. So, let's have this topic, the simple interest. So, we have this problem. So, complete the table by finding the unknown. Since formula for the simple interest, so that's principal times the rate times the time. And for this maturity value, that's the principal plus the interest. So, to solve for A, since interest is the unknown, so formula for the interest, that's the principal and the principal is 75,000. Then times the rate, so the rate is 3% and 3% in decimal, this one is 0 0.03. Then times the time, so the time is 12. So therefore the interest, so we have 75,000, then times uh, 0 0.03, then times 12. So, the interest is 27,000. So, I is 27,000. So, therefore, A is equal to 27,000. Then, to solve for B, that's the maturity value. So, from this formula, that the principal plus the interest. So, we have now the principal, that's 75,000. Then plus the interest, that's 27,000. So therefore, the maturity value is 102,000. So for B, that's 102,000. Then to solve for C, since principal is the unknown, so from this formula, so we have this, the interest, that's 13,000. Then equals the principal, that's the unknown, times the rate, 11%. So 11% in decimal, that's 0 0.11 times the time. So the time is 7. Then simplify. So we have this 13,000. So equals the principal, this 0 0.11 times 7, that's 0 0.77. So, to solve now for the principal, that's 0 0.77 divided by 0 0.77. So, therefore, the principal now, so we have this 13,000 divided by 0.77 equals, so that's 16,883.12. So, the principal is 16,883.12. Then, for D, so to solve for the maturity value, so from this formula, so we have the principal, that's 16,883.12. Then, plus the interest, that's 13,000. So, therefore, the maturity value is 29,883.12. So, this is now the maturity value. Then, to solve for E, since rate is the unknown, so from this formula, since we don't have this interest, so we need to solve first this interest from the given maturity value and principal. So, using this formula that the maturity value is 51,300, then equals the principal, that's 35,000, then plus the interest, that's the unknown. So, to solve for the interest, so transpose this 35,000 to the left side. So, we have 51,300, then minus this 35,000 equals the interest. So to solve now for this interest, so we have 51,300 then minus 35,000. So therefore the interest is 16,300. So this one for the interest. So this time we can solve now the rate so, from this formula, so the interest is 16,000, 
300 then equals the principal that's 35,000 times the rate so the rate is the unknown then times the time that's 3.2 then simplify so we have this 16,300 equals so this 35,000 times 3.2 so this 35,000 times 3.2, so that's 112,000. So this one is 112,000 times R. Then to solve for R, so divide both sides by this 112,000. Cancel. So therefore, R is equal to, so we have this 16,300, then divide by 112,000, so therefore that's 0 0.1455, so R is equal to 0 0.1455, then to convert this one in percent, so we just need to move uh, two places to the right, so we have 1, 2, so therefore R is equal to 14.55%. So R is 14.55%. Then for uh, G, since principal is the unknown, so using the maturity value and the interest, so from this formula, so maturity value is 200. 30,500 then equals principal is the unknown plus the interest that's 145,700 then to solve for P so transpose this uh, to the left side so we have 230,500 then minus 145,700 then equals P. So to solve now for P, so we have 230,500 then minus 145,700. So therefore the principal is 84,800. So P is 84,800. Then to solve for H, since time is the unknown, so from this formula, so from the interest, that's 145,700 equals the principal, that's 84,800 times the rate, so this 8.4% uh, convert to decimal, that's 0.084. Then times the time, and time is the unknown. Then simplify, so we have this 145,700 equals, so this 84,800 times 0 0.084, so we have 84,800 times 0 0.084, so that's 7,123.2. So, 7,123.2, then times the time. So, to solve for the time, divide both sides by the 7,123.2, divide by 7,123.2. So, therefore, the time, so we have this 145,700. Divide by this 7,123.2, so the time is 20.45. So therefore, this one is 20.45. So this is how to solve a simple interest problem.